hardcore. Come on to your back. Let's just start off nice and easy. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Give your legs a good squeeze. Take a moment here to soften your hip creases. You can rock side to side through your hips, finding a little massage across your lower back. And then press the back of your head into your mat. Keep that little bit of pressure and turn your head from right to left. Massage your skull. Let go of tension in your neck and your shoulders. And then next time you look right, keep looking right. Let both knees fall to the left and just breathe. A little more space into your spine. Breathe a little more length from your tailbone to the top of your head. And draw your knees through center. Take your knees over to the right and look left. And just a few breaths on this side, opening up your spine. Great, come back to center with your legs. Today we're gonna to start in a little butterfly shape with our legs. So let your knees fall open wide, bring the soles of your feet together. Hands behind your head, elbows wide. Just taking basic crunches with our legs like this, inhale, prepare. Exhale, pull your belly down, lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Try and lift your chest and face straight up to the ceiling and then lower back down. Again, exhale, lift straight up and lower down. Keep it going up and down, up and down. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower, up and down, up and down. Exhale, exhale, exhale 10 more, 10, nine, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Stay up. Keep those shoulders off the floor. Extend your arms out in front of you. Give me little pulses right here. Pulse, pulse. Yes, 18, 17. Exhale, exhale. Last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. When we get to one, we're gonna hold. Three, two, last one, stay up and hold for 10. Nine, squeeze your belly. Seven, six, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Stretch your legs out long. Reach your arms overhead. Just take a big stretch through your whole body here. And then open your feet mat width apart. Flex your toes back towards your face. Bring your hands behind your head. Now if hands behind your head is too much, bring them in front of you and use a little momentum with those arms. So I'll show you what we've got. We're gonna come all the way up to sit. Right hand reaches for left toes and then back down. And then we'll switch. Left hand reaches for right toes and back down. Here we go, pull your belly in, inhale, prepare. Exhale up to sit, right hand, left toes and down, other side, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down, 12 more, 12, 11, 10, really use that breath, exhale, eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, you got it, one more right here, all the way up, all the way down, and rest. Excellent. Take a little wiggle on those hips, shake out your legs, and then walk your legs all the way together. 
legs stay long. So on this one, super important to press down into your low back. Pull your belly down and then lengthen and press low back down into the floor to protect your spine. If you feel any pain in your low back, lift your legs a little higher. So here's what we got. Flutter kicks. You're going to pull your belly down. Press your low back down, hover your legs about six inches off the floor, and then gaze to your belly button. Extend your fingers towards the wall in front of you, peel your shoulders off the floor a little bit more, and then just flutter kick those legs up and down. When you're ready, joining in 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Take a breath. We're gonna start in that same shape. Let me show you what we got. So almost like we're about to flutter kick, except now we're gonna make leg circles, up, out, and around, and back together. We'll take that five times in one direction, and then we'll reverse down, out, and around five times. Yeah, if it's too much on your neck and head, just relax your head on the floor. You can even slip those hands underneath your tush for a little extra support. So find what works for you. Setting up, lift your shoulder blades, lift those feet, circles, lift up, out, and around, bring those feet together. Again, two, three, four, one more, five, now reverse, down, out, and up, four, three, two, just one more, one, and relax. Excellent, moving on. Knees are bent, feet are flat. Grab on to hand to hand. You can keep your elbows soft, use your arms a little bit here. Come all the way up to sit with me. So all the way up to sit. From here, we're gonna take four twists. Twisting right, twisting left, twisting right, twisting left, good, come back to center. Pull your belly button in and lower back down. Uh, again, all the way up to sit. If you need to grab your legs and help yourself up, go for it. We've got four twists. Four, three, two, one. Back to center, now lower down. Uh, again, all the way up to sit. Now maybe get a little lower on these twists. Four, three, work that elbow back behind you. Good, lower down. All the way up to sit. Four twists, four, three, two, one. Lower down, we have six more rounds. Come on up, twist for four, three, two, one. Back to center, lower down, all the way up. Twist for four, three, two, one. Back to center, lower down. Four more, coming up. Good, get a little lower as you twist. Three, two, one, center and down. Three more, all the way up. Twist, four, three, two, one, back to center, lower down. Two more, come on up. Twist, four, three, two, one, back to center, lower down. Last time, all the way up. Twist, four, three, two, one. One, back to center, lower down. Legs long, arms overhead, take another big stretch. When you're ready, flip over onto your stomachs. Onto your stomachs. Little forearm plank and full plank action here. Check this out. On those forearms, butt is low, feet are a little wider than your hips. We're gonna tap our fingers forward eight times. From there, we'll press up onto our hands and we'll tap our toes side to side in full plank eight times. We'll drop back onto those forearms and do it one more time through. So eight times tapping those hands on our forearms, we'll press to full plank and then toe tap side to side eight times. Two sets. Yeah, come onto those forearms. If the taps are too much, then just hold this forearm plank. Find that forearm plank, tap your toes, lift your knees, Lengthen your butt towards your heels. Press the floor away with your arms, pull your belly in and up. Here we go, tapping right hand and left hand. Right hand taps. Left hand taps eight times, three, four. I want you to try and keep your hips as still as you can. Six, seven, last one. Come onto those hands. 
eight toe taps right and left to the side, right to the side, left to the side, six, five, so nice you guys, four, three, press the floor away with those hands, two, one, back to those forearms, one more time, eight finger taps, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, press up to those hands, toe tap side to side, last set, eight, seven, six, five, keep your butt low, four, you got it, three, you got it, two, one more, knees down, press back, child's pose, yes, swish around, let it go, catch your breath. When you're ready, flip onto your back. So this is a nice stretch for the front of your body and also a good strengthener for the back of your core. We'll take a set of bridges. Feet are hip-width apart. Walk your heels in close to your seat. Bring your arms alongside your body. Dig a little more to your heels so that your toes lighten up. Press into your heels, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, lift your hips high. And then exhale, lower back down. Now as you lift those hips, think of tucking your tailbone to the back of your knees and then lower back down. So you're not trying to arch your lower back. As you lift those hips, you're actually trying to lengthen your lower back and send those hips up. Again, lift, tuck tailbone to knees and lower. Lift and lower, pressing through your heels, squeeze your tush at the top of that bridge and down, 10 more, 10 and down nine, and down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Squeeze your tush, and lower down. Excellent. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Just rock side to side. Release those hip flexors. We have a set of total body crunches. Legs stay in towards your chest. Hands will come behind your head. Draw your elbows in towards each other. From here, pull your belly button down. Use that engagement to peel your hips off the floor. Lift your shoulders, bring your elbows and knees to touch so you're squeezing into a ball. From there, extend your legs out long. Continue to press your low back down into the floor and then pull back in. Here we go. In, lift and squeeze and then out and stretch. In, lift and squeeze. If you feel any pain in your low back on this stretch, lift your legs a little higher or soften your knees. In, lift and squeeze, out and stretch. 10 more, 10, and out. Nine, we're moving slowly, and out, trying to get rid of momentum, really using those muscles. In, and out. Seven, and out. Six, press your low back down. Five, Four, three, two, one more, one, and relax. So nice. Take a moment here. Hug your knees back in towards your chest. We're gonna take another stretch just like we started class. Knees to the left, look right, easy breather. I want you to just wring everything out. Change sides, knees right, look left, because we're gonna go through all of that one more time. Now you know what to expect, now you know where to modify or add on. Good, come back to center with your knees. One more time through, feet on the floor. Open your knees wide, find that butterfly shape in your legs. Soles of your feet together, hands behind your head, basic crunches. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Can you press your feet together a little bit to engage your low abs a little more? Up and down. 
lift and lower, trying to lift straight up and control the down, straight up, control the down, exhale, exhale. 10 more, then we pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, try and relax your head into your hands. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, stay up. Extend your arms out in front of you, little pulses. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, exhale, exhale, 15, 14, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, good, 3, get ready to hold, 2, last one, stay up, hold for 10, 9, squeeze your belly in, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and rest. Yes, legs long, arms overhead. Take that big stretch. Open your feet, mat width apart. Flex your toes, bring your hands behind your head, or if you need a little momentum out in front of you, we're coming all the way up to sit for those half V-ups. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, right hand, left toes, and then lower down. Other side, all the way up, and lower down, up. Bring a little focus to the way down. Can you control your down movement? Up, and down, up, and down. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more, one, and rest. Beautiful, excellent modifications too. All right, walk your legs together. We've got those flutter kicks for 10 seconds and then we'll take our circles out and circles in, but we'll take a rest before those circles. Legs are long, arms alongside your body. If you feel any pain in your low back, raise your legs higher or slip those hands under your tush. Here we go. I want you to hover those feet off the floor. Lift your shoulders off the floor, reach your fingers forward. Flutter kick up and down, press your low back into the floor. Yes, make sure you're breathing. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Same rules apply for these circles. You can lift your legs higher or slide your hands under your tush. Bring those legs back together. Find that beginning position of your flutter kicks. Lift your feet, lift your shoulders, reach your fingers forward. Let's take those circles up, out, and around. Five, four, three, press your low back down. Two, one, now reverse. Down, up, and around. Four, low back down. Three, belly in. Two, just one more. One, and rest. Beautiful. Take a breath in through your nose, out your mouth, let that go. And we'll carry on, bend those knees, feet flat. Hook your hands, soften those elbows, arms can reach to the ceiling. We're coming all the way up to sit, four twists and back down. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, come up. Now see if you can get a little lower and then twist for four, three, yes, two, one, back to center, lower down. Again, coming up, get low on that twist. Four, three, two, one, center, and down. Coming up, twist four, three, two, one, center, and down. Coming up, 
four, three, two, one, center, and down, up, four, three, two, one, center, and down, five more, five, twist, four, three, two, one, center, and down, up, four, twist, four, three, two, one, center, and down, up, three, twist, four, three, two, one, center, and down, up, two, twist, four, three, two, one, center, and down, bring it up, twist, four, three, two, one, center, and down, last one, up, twist, four, three, two, one, center, that's it, relax, nice, roll on to your stomachs, forearm plank, hand taps, full plank, toe taps, two times through, let's set ourselves up on those forearms, tuck your toes, lift your knees, Pull your belly in, lengthen your tailbone to your heels. Here we go, hand taps. Eight, seven, try and keep those hips still. Five, four, three, two, one. Press to your hands. Toe taps, right, left, six, five, four, three. Looking good, two, one. Back to those forearms. Hand taps, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, full plank, toe taps, last set, eight, seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, knees to the floor, press back, child's pose, yes, sway, swish, let it go. And when you're ready, flip onto your back. Set of bridges coming up. Come all the way down. Feet are hip width apart, heels are in close to your seat. Bring your arms alongside your body. Press your heels so much that your toes get a little bit lighter. Keep digging into your heels, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, lift your hips, squeeze your tush, and lower back down. Again, inhale, lift, and lower. Lifting those hips, getting longer through the front of your hips as you squeeze your butt, and then down. Lift up, and down, good. I want you to press your whole foot into the floor, mainly through that heel, but notice if you're rocking to the outer edge of the inner edge of your foot, and see if you can balance out your entire foot so you're not rocking right or left on the edges of your feet. Keep that lift happening, lifting up and down up and down last 10 and down nine eight seven six five four three Two, last one, lift and squeeze, and lower down. Excellent, hug your knees into your chest. Last thing, total body crunches, and then we'll stretch it out a little bit. Keep your legs in towards your chest. Bring your hands behind your head. Draw your elbows in. Pull your belly down, use that to lift your hips off the floor. Lift your shoulders, bring your elbows and knees together. Inhale, stretch your legs, press your low back down. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze. Ten more. You got it. Ten. Finish strong. In. Nine. In. Eight. Seven. Six, keep pulling your belly in, 
Press that lower back down. Five. Four. Three. Almost there, almost there. Two. One more. Out and in. One. Bring it in. Good. Wrap your arms around your shins. Sway side to side. Let that go. So nice. Pull your belly in, take a couple rocks forwards and backwards. Massage your spine. And after the third or fourth one, come all the way up to sit. You can swing your legs around. Meet me on all fours. And let's lunge it out. Step your right foot between your hands. Bring your right hand to your right thigh. Press that thigh forward. Move your hips forward towards your right heel, trying to stretch that left hip flexor. And let's swap out those legs, right leg back, left leg forward. Use your left hand on that left thigh to gently move your thigh forward. Let your hips move forward. Get longer through that right hip flexor. From here, step your back foot forward towards your front foot. Soften your knees. Shake out your head, shake out your shoulders. Try and let go of any tension that may have built up in those exercises. And then bend your knees deeply and roll all the way up to stand. We'll finish with one last standing stretch. Draw your hands to the top of your buttocks flush for support. Roll your shoulders back, draw your elbows in. Soften your knees. Push your hips forward, lift your heart to the ceiling, and trace your gaze along the ceiling to the wall behind you. Holding this back bend with breath for four, three, two, slowly rise up, shake it out, and you are good to go. Woo.